Bat Rainbow says, I feel like my ping is better on Twitch than it's on YouTube, but Twitch is ads. Yeah, ads are a lag. You, you gotta choose between the worst of both worlds. Uh, unless you subscribe. Nah, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and push that, man. Subscribe today and reach the next level, man. I remember when I came up with that name for the channel. I thought that was like the super, that was like a super cool, smart thing. <laughs> Do you now dread it? God, man. The I Dread series was basically a video series that I made uh, a real long time ago when I just started with YouTube. Basically, when I started with YouTube, I, I first answered questions. Um, or things like, I made videos where I felt like these would be very common things within Warframe that people would want to have answers to. So I kind of wanted to make an, an entire guide where every single thing you could imagine about the game would be answered by my videos. Well, my first videos weren't all that great. It was me just trying to figure out my videos. And then I was just kind of like trying to figure out like, what can I learn? So I tried imitating some uh, some creators. And uh, I get the accusation from me quite a bit right now uh, that I am uh, completely imitating Dangpots with my tech videos. And I, I can see where they come from. Uh, but I don't think I'm, I'm imitating them as much as I was imitating, uh, <laughs> as much as I was imitating I had everything around that point in time. Because back then, I had this series called I Dread, which was just like, I Dread was basically just like, yeah, I hate, I hate everything. But instead of like, I hate, it's like, I Dread. Uh, but it was for me a fitting vehicle to try and use and do like uh, video essays about Warframe and like I dread this quest or I dread, I dread this part of Warframe. And basically it allowed me to learn a whole bunch about like stop motion animation with characters like putting talk like talking characters in something using and like using editing to tell a story where you don't really necessarily have a video with because I didn't show just like gameplay for just like this. I would actually go ahead and like edit it in such a way that you would have relevant pictures and relevant videos with the thing that we were talking about. So actually it was it was quite a decent uh, decent way for me to learn things, but it was very much, very clearly just, I dread, I hate, it was, it was very much a, a copy of that. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was something I learned quite a bit from. I, I tried to, I believe I tried to, like, kind of stay away, like, not talk about the same topics. It was like, like, let me take this formula of, like, I hate everything and I apply that to Warframe. And, um, yeah, I, I did that for a while and then I stopped doing that because I didn't really like the negative spin that it took on it. And I also wanted to like find something more for myself, but it was kind of a stepping stone for me to, to learn something. That's also where I feel very much. So if you want to, if you're new to something and you want to learn, don't necessarily try and find your, your own super unique thing. Go ahead and like, just imitate what's out there. Try and learn from like, if I do this, like this other person's doing, what can I learn? Because that's also what you do. Like, let's say you're, you're you're trying to try a sport or you're trying to learn, like, how to play the piano. You're not going to sit at the piano and be like, okay, I'm just going to try something completely different, completely random, and we're just going to see. No, you're probably going to imitate what other people have done so you can understand what they do and then from that move forward. So at that point in time, I didn't have any problem with imitations, even though that was, like, looking back, it's like, yeah, I know exactly what I'm doing there. Whereas right now, like, people are saying, like, the tech videos are, are imitations of dang pods. And uh, I don't necessarily agree. Uh, I, I, I know where they're coming from. So, like, obviously I have the, the like, the desk view, which is very reminiscent of Dankpots because they also have a desk view, but, I mean, a lot of people who talk about tech have, like, an overhead camera that, that, that talks about things on the desk, so there's not much I can, I can work with there, right? Uh, the other thing that I think is very much, like, a, a, a thing that people focus on is, is music. And uh, music, as I said, has been something that's kind of hard for me. Like, I'm not a great music person. I don't have a degree in music. I can't really listen well to music. Find new music is hard for me. However, uh, the thing with music is like, yes, there is a whole bunch of overlap between the songs that we use. Uh, Dankpots uses uh, a lot of the YouTube audio library songs, but that's also because, you know, that's the YouTube audio library, which is also something that I use as a YouTube creator. And a lot of the artists that he uses, like uh, Otis McDonald and, uh, God, what, what were the other ones? I, I literally know, Random Brothers, uh, Silent Partner. Like all of these are like artists that I've used in the past as well. Like, I actually discovered them around the time of, what is it called? Of uh, doing the I Dread videos. So I've known about these. Like, you can go back to my videos all the way back. I've actually used these these audio things quite a lot. And there have been, of course, some songs that I've been able to pick up over the years that were, that, yeah, I mean, like, now we're using some things that overlap. But at the same time, there's also a whole bunch of songs they use that, that don't overlap. So I think that if people see, like, a desk shot where someone talking with hands and talking in, like, a, a casual style, point of contact videos, and has that music, they, they immediately think back towards that. And, yeah, I, mean, I, I, I will not deny that there's definitely some big inspiration in there. Uh, there is a big influence in Dankpods in my videos when it comes to making videos that talk more about the context around, like, an item. Like, normally, like, tech I, tech reviews would be like, oh, here's a phone. Let's talk about the specs. Let's talk about all the details. Let's talk about, like, everything that's on there into the minute details and let's test it. Whereas the thing that I really liked about the Dankpods videos was that it wasn't necessarily about, like, how much percent faster is this than the other thing. It was more like, hey, you know, I found this really cool iPod thing. Let me try and this let me i found this really cool thing let's go talk about that in a way that you can understand 
And to me, I want to use like that point of contact a lot more to um, give a little bit more insight. It's like, hey, let's say we have a phone over here. Uh, why is this important? Like, why do people care about this? And give you the context, you have like a general idea as to like what this is about and where you can start if you want to do more research into it. Or if you have a general idea about, okay, so this is what this phone is about, I'm not really interested. You already know that, okay, I'm not interested because I know the general gist of it. I think that that's a more different approach. I, I feel like I'm taking a more of a, uh, I don't want to say educational, but a more of a like refuse style educational approach. Whereas Dangpods is a lot more entertainment approach where he's like, hey, I found some really cool, I found like a really cool MP3 player. I found like a really cool item, a really cool old phone. Let's go, let's go play around with it. Uh, I don't do that as, as much. And that's where I feel like I have more of a cross section between something like uh, dank pods and uh, I would say technology connections which are more like an in-depth channel about random things which I like to do as well like take a look at my PS Vita video and then also something like I, I, I feel like I've taken quite a bit from like Cole James as well when it comes to my, my gameplay videos um, and I take those gameplay videos into into these into these videos as well because I don't just have the desk view I also have this view right here and for me it's like it's the same thing when I'm doing a gameplay video like there are shots with me in the gameplay and there are shots with me like right here and that's that's the same way that I approach these these desk videos so I do feel there's a lot more nuance to them than people give me credit for and it's only a small amount of people but it's every single video like oh man you're stealing dank pots is that intentional it's like well you know like there is this big source of inspiration I do also really really appreciate that people like see the likeness because that means that at least you know like i'm i'm delivering some sort of quality because if i tried my best to make a great video and no one no one saw some sort of likeness to to, to another really good youtuber then basically that means that i'm not like i'm not even making quality that looks close to it because like you can see a kid touch a football but you'll never be like hey are you copying cristiano ronaldo because you know like he's not playing anywhere close to it which means that at least my videos come close to the quality that is expected from somewhat at a decent level but uh yeah at the same time i don't think it's entirely warranted but uh yeah that's that's as far as as, as i go when, when it comes to imitating stuff uh, obviously there will always be inspirations for things and i think that if you're starting out with your creative career feel free to imitate things if you want to imitate my videos to to learn about how i do things feel free to do so um don't like hide it I've, I've never tried to hide that i uh that i that i if i absolutely copy people uh i feel that uh my very first like Tenographic channel video that I made on the uh, on the, on the Postman One channel that was very much inspired by Cole James, and it's also literally the way that I was approached. Like, man, you know, there, there's this hunting thing. Cole's not making videos. What if I could make something like that? It is important that over time you you change that around to your own formula and add other elements to it, which I think I do. I do believe I do. But then again, people can disagree, which is fine. But uh, yeah, I think that they're uh, they're a bit too focused on uh, on very specific elements like the desk and then the music, and then it just clicks with them. It's like, oh yeah, this right here is this right here is Dengpa. It's Like not entirely. I think there's more to it. But hey, several tribal says you're imitating me because I've streamed one time before. <laughs> yeah, I'm imitating tribal. I I'm I'm stealing tribal's content. I'm stealing tribal's tribal's content. I'm stealing the stream idea. <laughs> That's what I'm doing.